If you're new to the world of Mahjong, the best place to start is Hong Kong style. It's very simple. You get 14 tiles, and with those 14 tiles, you have to make four sets and a pair. The sets can be three in a sequence, called a chow, or three of a kind, called a pung. Now there are four of every tile, so you can also have a kong, but you still gotta get four sets and a pair. There are exceptions, and there are all kinds of different scoring. I like Hong Kong style because it's the easiest. If you want to know more, there's a link below the video to the lesson playlist and a player reference that you can download so that you can follow along. In this video, I'm going to do an exercise that I call random pulls. This will give you a really good idea on what it's like to build a hand. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. Let's do some random pulls. Here's all my tiles. And I am going to roll the dice just to see which player we're gonna be. I mean, that's not part of the game, but it just randomizes where you're seated because this is a four player game. So I rolled a four. So we're gonna say we're north. We're going to say we're north and there are four rounds in a game where every player gets to be the dealer. The dealer is also called east. So we're going to start with east round. We'll do a south, west, and north round. So for the east round we are in seat four and that matters because if you get a three of a kind of the east wind you can get score for that. If you get three of a kind of your own seat, which is four or north in this case, we'll get score for that. So let's see what we can do with these tiles. For non-dealer, you get 13 tiles. And the 14th tile make your winning tile. So let's see what we have. No flowers. Flowers are numbered one through four and they coincide with your seats. So east is one, south is two, west is three, north is four. So we would need a four flower in order to get score for a flower. And we don't have it. That's okay though. We can get score elsewhere. All right. This is not too awful bad. We have mixed suits, but we do have one, two, three pair. So we can pung, which is a three of a kind. If somebody discards a six bam, we can pung, pung the four crack, pung the three dot. We just need one more pair for another pung and then a pair of anything else. So I'd say if this were me, I would play all pung, all three of a kind. If you're brand new to this game, you can see here we have dots, bamboo, and characters. These are called cracks also, and bam. Dot, bam, crack. And everything's numbered one through nine. And then there's four of everything. There are dragons, like this, red, white, and green dragon. And then there are winds, north, south, east, and west, that coincide with your seat. And that's the whole tile set. So you just gather, build a hand, get some score, win the game. That's how it's supposed to go anyway. So let's do another random pull. So we did east round, let's do uh, south round. South round, and this time let's say we're in seat two. Seat two is south. So it is south round and we're in seat two. So we could get score if we get a pung of south. I'm gonna mix these up. Oh, flowers. There are the flowers. We have a one and a two flower. The two right here, we'll get score for that. Four points. So we'll put that over there. Let's see what else we're gonna get. 
So there's four points right there. One point, not four points. One point. Here's the scorecard. You can download that if you want. Flowers are up here. Okay, so let's see what else we got. We've got dots. We've got a few bams and a few cracks. This is a white dragon. By themselves, they're not very helpful with one exception. If I come across it, I'll share it with you. It's called 13 Orphans. So here we have, let's just count. One, two, three, four, five. The reason I pulled off the ones and nines is because they're considered honors, which are winds, dragons, and terminals. Terminals are ones and nines. So we have one, two, three, four, five. I don't think that's enough to go for an honor hand. I think this is going to be difficult because we have only one pair. I think because it's so bleak. You know what, maybe what we could do now, see all these tiles here are isolated and they're all honors. These are potential chows. Well, this is isolated too. So that's a potential chow, two, three. We could get a one or a four. This is a pair. We always have to have a pair. And this is a potential chow. We need an eight crack in here. So we have two potential chows. That's a rough start. I think what I would do, I think I would keep the dots because that's what we have the most of. Keep the dots. I think what I would do is get rid of the seven crack first and see if we can collect honors. If we could collect honors or dots, I think that would be good. And I think I would also get rid of the bams. So that's how I would play this. Maybe try for an honor hand or dots because the chow potential is really bleak. So let's do another one. Oh, you know what? I forgot to get a replacement tile for that flower, a two. So we would have had another pair in there. Anytime you get a flower, you get a replacement. Yeah, two bam. So we would have had two pair. It still was not that much better, honestly. So let's see what we can do with the um, west round. Maybe it'll be a little better. So this time I rolled a seven. Seven is west. So I'm just going to put up a three. So it's west and west. This looks promising. Well, sort of. So we have two dots, four bams, but look at all these cracks. We have two pair there, but we do have a pair of east. We're west though, so a pung of east is not gonna bring score, but it could potentially help get to a half flush. But I think we're actually closer to all chow. And this could be, let's see, this would drive our score down, I think. Let me see here. I don't think a wind pair is gonna matter. All chow. You always have to have a pair. So your pair can be anything. We have a chow here, two, three, four. Here's a potential chow, two, four. Potential chow, potential chow, potential chow. The challenge here is we have, let's see, an inside weight. An inside weight means that you need the tile in between to complete that chow. So that's a inside weight or a middle weight or a closed weight. Those are the different terms you might hear. 
Here we have an edge weight where you need the tile on the edge. We need a six, oh no, no, this is a, this is a, a side weight because we need either a six or a nine. Here's a side weight. We need either a two or a five. And then here's another closed weight. We need the six in the middle. So that's one, two, three, four, five. We don't need all of those. So I think what I would do is probably sacrifice one of the closed weights, probably this one here, because if we end up drawing honors and cracks, I might even sacrifice those to go for a higher scoring hand. The closer you get to one suit or one suit with winds and dragons, the higher your score. So I would go for all chow here. All chow is a one point hand. Right now we have no flowers, which is also a point. So that would be a two point hand, which is pretty low. Chow, chows are pretty low score, unless you're in one suit or one suit with honors. In that case, they're really no score if you have honors. Well, unless it's your pair, I guess. Okay, so let's go on to the last round. This would be the north round. And this time we are in seat six. Seat six is a south. Oops. Okay. These are the dragons, white dragon and green dragon. There's a north. If we get three of a kind of north, that is the wind of the round. We could get score for that. We have a two, three in cracks. We have a pair of nines, five dots. That's not bad, I guess. So I think, I think I would try probably for all chow again. We have no flowers, which is a point. Then we have a potential chow here with side weight, side weight, two, three, two, three. This is isolated. Here's a chow right there. And here's a pair. So we have one, two, three, or two potential chows, a chow and a pair. All we need is one tile to help this become another chow, potential chow. So I would probably sacrifice these and go for all chow again. I hope that gives you an idea of what it's like to work with the tiles. Again, there's a link below the video to the lesson playlist, learn how to play, and then let me know how it goes for you. And of course, if you have any questions, write them in the comment section. I'm glad to help. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell when you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss any opportunities to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an insight of the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.